it's Kelly and I'm back with another layout. Today is Two Page Tuesday, so it's a two page layout. And this one is about a day trip that my um, boyfriend and I took last summer. We do that frequently where we just take a Saturday and we go explore a city in the state we live in. It's been really, really fun um, finding things to do. And, you know, in a day you can do a couple of really fun things in an area. We usually um, have a meal. And so in this particular case, we went to a place we, um, not too, too far away, well, a couple hours away, I guess, but had some fun at a winery and then went to um, a gorgeous golf um, course and had lunch in um, the restaurant there. So anyway, so I'm starting out and I cut that blue paper there, which is Amy Tangerine Picnic in the Park and it's the photo shoot paper. And I'm mounting the, the photographs on that. And I really liked that because it popped um, the blue in the wine bottle chandelier. And also I just think the fact that my boyfriend is wearing kind of a gray color, that helps pop him as well too. And I think that looks really good. I did intend to journal. Um, you saved a little bit of space here for that journaling block. And so that um, journaling, 3x4 journaling card is uh, something from Ellie's studio. Now I'm mounting all of that on this green paper, which is from Bella Boulevard Make Your Mark. It's the Magnifique paper. And I've cut the blue paper just a little bit shy or I'm cutting the blue paper just a little bit shy of the green paper or the green paper just a little bit shy of the edge of the red paper and then the blue paper a little bit shy of that edge just to kind of get it all to um, fit on there but to still have a frame of the red paper around it. So that red paper or the pinky red paper is from Doodlebug. It's the Petite prints in the Ruby Buffalo print and wood grain paper. It's a Ruby Buffalo print wood grain. It was, it's one of their newest um, faux solid papers. All right. So I'm just going to cut that blue paper and then um, so I can mount it on the green paper there. And just not measuring here, just using the other paper there to do my measuring. And getting the photos because I don't I didn't really glue them down very well so now I need to do a little bit more gluing here all right so now I'm going to decide where this green paper is going to go in relation to the red paper and I did cut you know so the green the heights of the two green papers and blue papers are all the same here Okay, that paper is beautiful, that floral on the back of the green. I have used that a couple times already. I don't mind reusing papers if I have um, a bunch of them because they can go in different albums or um, they can like get different albums of mine or they can go in my album and my grandkids' albums. So I, I, and even if it's in my own albums, I don't worry about it. I like the paper, it's good. All right, I'm using my um, Creative Memories Corner Punch there. I love this thing. It's such a great corner punch. And actually this was something that my aunt gave me when she stopped scrapbooking. I think it's one, that in the small um, paper cutter, which is great for four by six photos are, are the two big things that I still use from Creative Memories. All right, so I saw these chipboard circles, these black chipboard circles from LA Studio Days of the Week. And then I also have these black puffy labels here from Ellie's studio. Those are the everyday labels, puffy stickers. So I'm adding those in as well. So I'm pulling in the black here just because there's quite a bit of darkness. And I think the black is a, um, a nice kind of neutral to use to highlight these photos. So I'm also thinking um, that I might want to use black as my title. So I was looking at some uh, some pre-made titles there. Couldn't find anything. I was looking at some boot, Bicky Booten um, die cuts to see if maybe I could use some of those and didn't find those. So then I went to my thickers and I found these um, three small alphabets here. And um, those alphabets are the one that I'm going to choose. Nope, never mind. <laughs> I do choose one of those and it's sitting there on the side, but 
first, I decided I wanted to bring in some brown because there's a lot of brown in these pictures and I didn't have any. So I grabbed these core cards from Redefine Creative and I really like um, how they look, you know, just giving that little bit of brown. And so the reason I needed to grab those is because I'm going to do my title starting at the bottom here. I'm going to go from the bottom up for my title and I needed to have an idea of where that core cart was going to sit so that I could actually, um, so that I could actually, um, get the title on. <laughs> I can't even think what I'm trying to do there. Anyway, so now I have that cork heart and then that little chipboard circle from Ellie Studio that says today. And then on this side, I have another cork heart and a um, chipboard circle that says weekend, which is nice. And then I have these fun little um, puffy stickers. They're wine glasses from Jilly Bean Soup. It's the day-to-day -day puffy stickers and it's the mealtime um, stickers. Now, I, you can't get these anymore because I, I don't even think Jilly Bean Soup is making scrapbooking products anymore, if I remember correctly. They've gone another direction. So now I'm going to get the rest of my title down here. And I had to shorten up the name of the um, the name of the place where we were, just because it didn't. It it was two. It's a two word city. Although the point is kind of a nickname for if you live in that area, which I did at one point in my life. That's what people call it. So all right. So getting in another one of those puffy stickers. This one says "Remember." The top one there. I'm changing out to my favorite. And then I have some of those same Redefine Creative cork hearts, but they're smaller. So I'll put one next to each of the black puffy stickers. One, The one in the bottom right says currently, the other one says love you, because it's on a picture of the two of us. And then I wanted to add a little bit of something uh, different. So that's where I usually put enamel dots. I, I'm looking for enamel dots that work with that blue and I can't find it. So these will be the closest ones and these are from a Pebbles Patriotic Collection. And obviously they the dots made a flag. So I, I do like that they're a little bit different and I've have I have puppy puffy stickers on here. So it is kind of nice that I'm using them um, on this layout as well. All right, you guys, here's the still shot and a couple of detail shots. Hope you're all well and I'll be back with another layout again soon. Bye everybody.